Hey, Shabbat Shalom, my friends. What was the reason God destroyed the world in a flood? Now, I usually don't go to town on these little cutesy connections between things going on in the world and something you might find in the Parsha, but this is more than cutesy because literally in the third verse of this week's Parsha, the Torah tells us that God decided to destroy the world because of Hamas. The world became corrupted before God. The world became filled with Hamas. Now I looked it up. Hamas in Arabic is some kind of acronym that refers to an Islamic resistance movement and the organization Hamas co-opted it and said it refers to zeal or bravery. But Hamas in the Torah refers to thievery, robbery, and corruption. It is the ultimate breakdown of humankind which is exactly what Hamas truly is. Whatever it is, their association with it was when they founded the organization back in the 80s. It doesn't really matter because they are true to the Torah's understanding of the word Hamas, which means the breakdown between one human being and the next, the ability to just take something without regard for the other person and a corruption in general. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back. God was able to tolerate all sorts of sins and wrongs in the world, but when one human being acts so despicably against another, God says, no more world. That's exactly what Hamas is. This is not some sort of Islamic resistance group against the occupying power. Remember that Israel gave back the Gaza Strip in 2005. They have not been occupying it since 2005. This is an expression of evil in the world. Hamas is corruption and evil at its very core. And the Jewish people are standing literally on the opposite side, standing for righteousness and for goodness, for kindness and love. Just check out any rally. Go to New York City, go to London, go to Paris, go to wherever there are pro-Hamas and pro-Israel rallies, and just go to stand in the middle of the street and see what's going on on both sides. The pro-Hamas rallies, people are spitting, spewing hatred, throwing things at people, and literally just promoting violence. On the other side, you have peace-loving Jewish people singing Hatikva, singing the Jewish people are alive, singing Kol Yisrael Arevim Zebaz, all Jews are responsible one for the next. It's all about peace, love, and kindness, about taking care of your fellow human being, not about attacking other people. So let's remember what this war is about. It is not some sort of resistance against an occupying power. It's an expression of rishus, evil, of Hamas, of corruption of just taking what is not yours. The Jewish people will stand against this as we have other evil forces in the world, whether it was the Babylonians, the Persians, the Romans, it was the fascists, the communists, the Jew saw them all. We are still here and they are in the dustbins of history, which please God, Hamas will be very soon. Shabbat Shalom.